Hey everyone, this is the Drunkards and Dragons podcast, episode... 13 team. 13. 13. 13 team. 13 okay. team. No, just 13. Just drink. Go. Drink. 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 Clink. Oh. Clink. Drink. So, I'm Big Chan. And you play... Your mother. He plays Kriv. I'm Justin, and I play Baron Darren. Hey, I'm Steph, and I play Anisoptera. She's really cool. She has Professor Black, by the way. I'm Alan. I play Sully Terrascourge. And you have and a weird look on your face. I carry the group. Um, that's a lie, but that's okay. And our DM's name? Uh, I'm Chris, and I am the DM. Woo! Can we get a what what for our DM? Okay. I take a knife, I jam it in my heart, and I seppuku myself. Again. Uh, I think everybody needs to commit some Sudoku so we can... Right. Uh, I, th- I keep thinking that this tequila is going to be less awful every time. It's not. Wrong tequila every time is then? always bad. No, I keep telling it's you this. Good. Tequila is good. Need to tequila is You just awful. have to learn to drink no, it. Oh, man. <gasps> you should put some tequila and lemonade together. No, man. I just used the lemonade as a chaser. Lemon quila. And it was okay. Lemon quila. It's good, right? It was okay. Um, so, Alan, salt around the rim. what yes. happened last time? So, last time, we were finishing up a dinner at Mayor Pinkerton's house. Um, I had finished my proposal of the fellowship with the other members of our little D&D group. Um, we then reconvened at the well, where we laid out some of the small details of the fellowship. I attempted to do something cool with my fellow PCs, but, uh, at least 25% of them decided to be cunts. We ended up forming a fellowship, um, then we went to sleep. (coughs) What's the fellowship called? The Arduous Alliance. A.K.A. the Black Ravens. Sure. Sure. <laughs> we went to sleep. We woke up uh, a couple days later to Brienne bringing all of our gear back. And by our gear, I mean their gear and my books from her little trip to the smithy and the market. Uh, everyone equipped their shit. I tried to read my books before Baron took them away because he's played by cunt and he's doing cunt things. We decided. We're just being thrown around a little bit too much here. Okay, Alan likes his cunts. He's being a douche canoe, mm-hmm. and he is. Good. And he is rowing up a douchey river of douche. You call him a cotton picking ninny monger. What? What the fuck? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, we have <laughs> since left the town. And I traveled for a couple days only to stumble upon um, what seems to be a carriage stuck in a sinkhole. Um, With a convoy of people. There is an amount of people around the carriage trying to pull it out of the sunken hole. And a uh, gentleman standing on top of the carriage yelling. With a whip. With a whip. All that but has a stone on it. All the party members. It's a chain with a stone on it. All the party members, except for Kriv, have started moving towards him, uh, all of our own different reasons. Kriv is still trying to chill in the back and... You don't know why. ...see what's up, possibly wait for some opportunity to run, kill, or steal. And here we are. Interesting ideas. Oh, and they think that we're ambushing them, and he, the man on the carriage, called out for them to attack you three, and Professor Black. Right. Let's so as start. you, as you come out of the woods, the man on top of the carriage starts to. He like notices you. He is taken back, and he um, he screams, "It's a trap! Kill them! Kill them!" And he like starts pointing in your direction. The covered wagon is. A, it's like it's not a small covered wagon. It's like an actual wagon, like it's big enough for four to five people to sit inside of. So like Oregon Trail. Okay. Right. May I have a surprise round? 
Just me. Oh, just you? Yes. Yeah, sure. Okay. No, you cannot. You just said yes. No, you can't I, take it back. I, feel like I lied. Please? No. So, are the people running towards us? I promise I won't attack anyone. Initiatives. Everybody. I promise I won't attack anyone. But wait, I don't want to I, kill them yet. Wait. I feel like we're always too quick hey, to kill. Hey, hey, hey. Um, you're still rolling initiatives to see who is acting first. It doesn't mean that you have to take into combat. These three don't get my combat leader plus two to initiative. Because I'm not within ten feet of them. What? You, got, Come on. you guys don't get my combat leader plus two to initiative. You're not within ten feet of me. Okay. Eleven. So. I got an eight. Because eight is great. Oh, eight plus what? All my I don't know. Four. Mm, nope. Ten. Oh, uh, no, Twelve. Wow. I'm blind. That number. That is. Yeah, tell me your total number, not just the. That what you think number is. is twelve. Ten. Seven. Has a seven. Five. Seventeen. Really? Yes. Okay. Can you stop, Kaido? Wait, isn't Baron ahead of me? That's what? I see you looking at my shit. Yeah? Between the math. Yeah. Yeah, he, he, his head, like, leaned all the way over to see my dice roll. Alright. Okay, well, all of the other people are going to act in the same round. Is that right? Okay. Yeah. So, up first is Selly. The peop- the followers around him, the four, the four cloaked individuals... They all turn towards you, and they all pull curved blades out from their like from in, within their cloaks. They put their hands into the like hands of their cloaks, and they pull like curved these like curved blades out. Aw, shit! What's we gonna? They're do? called cur- cuckries. Cuckries. They're like curved the knives. Cuckers. Yeah. Okay. And they all look towards you, Sally. You yes, act first. Don't hurt them. We're trying to help them. Why? So you know that your magic wand, your magic item has a actual item thing on it. Yes, an on use. An on use, yeah. I'm aware. Okay. Okay. So which one am I? The I don't know which one. one are you. The yellow one. I believe I, you're purple. I no, purple's no, next to Professor purple. Black. Oh. This is Kaido. You're the okay. yellow one. Okay. So the tree provi- can provide cover if you stand behind. If you like, are behind it. All right, so I'm gonna move up. Attacks. I'm gonna use press the digitation. This can go well. To create like swirling fire around me, and then I'm gonna intimidate that guy on the ground, just around me, like swirling around me. Okay. And I want to make it so like it swirls around me, and it looks like I'm channeling into some vortex in my hand, and I try to intimidate that guy. How big can the image that your presentation create? Um, it doesn't say. It says uh, harmless sensory effects such as shower of sparks, puff of wind, faint music, strong order. Okay. Like that. Um, we're gonna say that the biggest thing that you can create that doesn't make sounds is six feet square. So like three feet wide, three feet thick, and three feet. Okay, um, I will make it... So you can make, like, a three-foot wall of fire that, like, goes around you. Okay, sort of goes around me, and I want to, like, kind of channel in my hand. And I'm just like, I don't know, just say something like, uh, you really don't know who you're messing with, champ. I would, I would just calm down and resheat that blade. Okay, and you're gonna make an intimidation check, or are you gonna... Um, yeah, I'm gonna intimidate him. Whoa, natural 20. 20. Okay. Plus 10, Wait, 30. were you trying to intimidate the boss guy or the, um... This guy. The guy close to you. Yeah. Alright, his eyes get wide and he, like, leans back, but he stays there. He looks scared. Do I see the guys with the swords unsheathed and everything? So I see basically everything's going on. Yeah, okay. you see it all. Alright, um, and stop during your turn. I'm not done. That was a standard in a move. You have a minor. Sorry. Yes. Okay. So if he if he recoils a bit and doesn't resheath his blade, I don't know. I, I I just like so you want to take that route and I just say like the shadows bind you and I curse him. Okay, that counts as a move, a standard, and a minor. Yeah. I don't know if intimidating is the minor. Oh right. Okay, no, never mind. I don't curse him. Then. Okay. All right, Steph. All right. Um, I just yell out. I like put my hands up. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. 
guys. Like, we're not trying to hurt you. We came out because it looked like you're in a bind, and we want to help you out. So, everyone so, just calm down. So, what are you going to do for your actions? Are you going to hold them, or are you going to get rid of them? I'm going to... I don't want to attack okay. or anything. I'm just trying to commit, like, what, what's their response after I'm like, whoa, 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 calm down. We don't mean any harm. Like, we just want to... Like, I mean, they're all just, out. they're all standing there staring at you. They haven't been able to act yet, except for... I mean, they don't like, have any, like, response after I'm like, whoa! They, they haven't been able to act yet. It's not their turn to act yet. They can't move. They can't talk back to me? They can't talk back until their turn. The recoiling was a reflex. The thing that happened when Sally did this thing, like, them, like, flinching back was a reflex. They can't act, they can't act like, have an action of, like, either resheathing their blades or backing up or, like, saying something to you until it is actually their turn. So you have to wait until their turn to re- to know if your thing is actually going to work. If, like, you, if they're going to stop attacking or if they're going to press Do forward. I have to roll anything to, like, convince them that we're not trying to, like, a, a bluff? I'm, I'm not really bluffing, though, because I'm telling the truth, right? No, you don't have to. Okay. All right. Um, you can if you would like to, but you, I mean, if you're telling the truth, there's not really much that you can, I mean, you can... Maybe, like, a diplomacy? Yeah, still roll, yeah, you would ha- it would be diplomacy. Alright, I'll roll diplomacy. You would attempt to use your diplomacy to... Oh man. Three plus four, so, uh, seven. Okay. There we go. Good job, Kato. Um, alright, so seven diplomacy to... Try and convince them. Okay. Okay. Kato. Okay. Um, so, I move Before up. he moves, I tell him, hey, Baron, uh, you better get these guys to shoot their weapons, or I'm gonna blow his eyes out of a socket. Oh, that's lovely. It's good. Okay. Um, so, I raise, I, I keep my weapon away, but I raise my shield, and I move forward next to Sally, and I tell him, hey, this lady's crazy, you don't want to piss her off. Just calm down. We only want to help. And then, uh, that's it. Okay. Um. Alright, so it is the minion's turn. The followers. And the one in front of Sally holds. Uh, the one next to the cabin moves closer to you. And the other two move out from behind the wagon and they stop like attempting to they stop attempting to stop the wagon from falling and they all stop and they're all standing there so they still have their their blades sheathed and they're all standing around you um now it is their the leader's turn he's like looking at you and he uh right and he says you dare threaten us? And he, like, tells... Or he, like, commands his followers to attack you. Yep, just like that. What? Attack! Oh, we're not threatening, though. Except for Sully. Except for Sully, who said that he would pop their eyes out of their sockets and swirl flames around himself. Does he Sully. make a move action? No. He casts Perilous Order on this guy. And he charges at Sully. Go, my minion! Charge! 21. Versus Versus AC. Mm, Yes. That's not it. You take... 8 damage. He charges at you and slices you across your... uh, across your chest with his blade. Kriv, your turn. If I leave the bushes, am I on stealth? Yes. If I head behind this tree, can I keep my concealment if I roll another stealth check? If I were to move one space here, then here. Can I keep concealment? Would you have to go around? You would have to not be in the line of sight of the people that you're trying to conceal yourself from, or hide from. And you would also move at half your speed while stealthing. What you gonna do when it comes for you? Let's see. <laughs> no. It's so 
I will. Is this uh, difficult terrain? Mm -mm. Okay, so I'll move here, here, step over here. All right, so you move closer to the primary guy. Right, the one that just attacked Sally. <coughs> I feel like we should wait to. I will off. use Wolfpack tactics. I will give a shift to Baron, and I'll say, hey, Baron, uh, flank this guy, will you? Shift one square over the flank. Right. I'm trying to decide if I want to or not. Okay, but don't hurt him. So I shift one. And I'm going for lethal. Okay. Super good. <laughs> that is 13 versus AC. Uh, okay. You hit him. Okay. And that is 7 damage. Alright, so you uh, take your sword and you like... He's... he's um, Preoccupied, he looks at Baron as Baron like walks behind him, and then when he turns back around, you jab your sword right into his chest and right oh. through his chest, and you pull it out, and he like grabs his chest and he falls to the ground. So they're really good. Weak. And don't take him off the map. Uh oh, are they more zombies? As he, uh, as he like falls and like his head hits the ground, the uh, guy on top of the wagon, he. He, like, yells at him. He's like, weak, rise! And he, like, uh, like, put, puts his hand out to him. And then the guy, like, like, coughs up. And then, like, kind of, like, lurches back up to his feet. I'll burn an action point. I need to test out whether or not he's basically controlling these minions and making them live. Or if he can just heal them. Okay. okay. Oh. Um, and... Okay. We have more zombies. Also, he after he does it, he um, he leaps off of the carriage. Okay, I'll burn an action point and go for a basic melee on the guy next to Kaido. Okay, you go for hit him again. Yeah, twenty-seven versus AC. All right, as he's going to like, as he's like standing back up, you after you pull your sword out, you come back around and you lop his head off, and he drops back to the ground. Now can I take him off the board? Mm -hmm. Alright, good. And can I turn to make a roar? <coughs> sure. I turn a roar at him. At who? At the boss. Okay. Roar. Wait, can I use intimidate as a minor? Yeah. Alright, I'll intimidate. Uh, 25. Okay. He just like grins at you. Um, so you can't turn. be intimidated. I'll turn to Sally. I told you, I'm going to blow eyeballs out of sockets, Baron, if you didn't get them to sheath their weapons. Okay, I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. Um, I'll turn to Sally and I'll say, which target burn counts? out the eyeballs. I guess that guy's my closest target? Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm going to curse him. Okay. Um... I, I, I look towards him and be like, shadows bind you, and I curse him. Okay. And then... Put this put this underneath that guy. And then I say... Okay. Consume his eyes. I use eye bite on him. Okay. Uh, do, do, do 14 versus will. Versus will? Yes. Okay, you hit him. So does that mean he's blind? Or 14 damage. Okay, you th you like flick your wand at him, and like a thing comes out and goes into his eyes, and and his both of his eyeballs like blow out, and then he like falls to the ground, and then the leader guy he does the same thing. He tells him to rise, and the guy stands back up. Do I get my teleport when he goes down? Yes. Rise. And then he shifts so, to the side. I'll go one, two, three. Okay. Why would you get... Do you just, like, jump over the trees? Is that what you did? No, I teleported through everything. Oh, okay. And it's after your turn. Cool. Um, so I guess we're, like, attacking now. Okay, mm Hunter's Quarry on... Closest target. Okay. Hunter's Quarry has to be on closest target. Okay. So, so put that on any time. 
So can he not be marked twice? Or those are not marks. One of them's a one of them's a curse. The other one's a hunter's quarry. Okay. Yeah, one target can have really multiple things on them. As you this can't. Get the reason why you can't mark multiple targets is because marks happen if on the <coughs> last target you attacked. Okay. So when Baron attacks a target, that target becomes marked. If he attacks another target, that target becomes marked. Okay. Need to. Actually, I, I can actually have multiple tar- uh, marks out, but I have to hit Wait, them. Wait, so since yeah, guys, if I use food or something, yeah. So I bite blinds the target though if it doesn't kill him, right? No, I bite makes me invisible to that target. Okay. Right. Um, I'm making a ranged basic attack against him. Okay. Six, so six to hit. So no, probably. No. Right. You shoot an arrow and it goes past him and it like lodges into the wagon. Okay. It actually slips. It slips through the um. The arrow goes through the cover in the wagon. It, like, slips through it. Alright, that's cool. Alright, Baron. Okay. Um, so, I go over, over, and then in. Um, okay, and I attempt to shield bash. No, I, I wanted to use Tide of Iron on this guy. So, I still don't have my weapon drawn, but I'm hitting with my shield. Is that guy still cursed? Yes. Excellent. Tide of Iron on which guy? This guy. Okay. Uh, 16 plus 6, uh, 22. Alright. You, uh, turn and you, like, smack the guy in the face with your shield, and his his neck just, like, snaps and he falls to the ground. Okay. So Uh, that guy can go off the board, too. Okay. No, the other guy. That's the one you hit, right? The other one? Right. Alright. The other two minions are the two minions that are left. Um, actually, leave them on the board as pennies. One was here, one was here. Okay. Right. Um, <coughs> actually, I would have knocked it back, so it's more like there. Okay. This one attacks Baron. Okay. This one shifts one to Sally. It's invisible. Sally's invisible. Now. He died. Right. Okay. It for all intents and purposes, they actually die and then they're brought back to life by him. Okay. Okay. So the things that are on them, the curse will stay because I'm allowing it to. But yeah, I bite will not. Seventeen versus AC. No. Yes. No, I mean yes. I mean, he. Yes to his no. Yeah. Remember, Sally, you do regain health because I burned magic point. You saw me burn an action point. I mean, too. no, Sally. You should remind people of that, John. Not yeah. just assume that. I forgot that he got damaged. I so gained I a, a surge him. worth of no health. Uh, half my level plus charisma modifier, so five health. You gain five health. Yes. Excellent. But you lose five health from this slice. He slices you again across. He like slices you right across your arm. You take five damage. The one that attacks Baron. 14 versus AC. No. Okay. He slices you and it like chinks off of your, <clears throat> your chain mail. The leader, he like takes his flail back and he pushes his, his, his other hand, the hand's not touch, touching the flail, towards Baron and like this purple like wave comes out of it at you. And purple rain comes out of it? Purple rain, yes. Purple rain. Purple no. Rain. You guys are no fun. <laughs> 14 versus Will. Damn it. Yeah. Okay, you Barely. take 8 psychic damage. Okay. The th- it hits you and it like your the the hue of the world turns purple and then it comes back into view. Does and that seem familiar to me? No. It just it's just the the off effect of it. It's it's a it's a fear psychic spell, so I was trying to give it a psychic. Okay. Okay. Effect. He he just yells at you to stay where you are. Is it like the opposite of scorpions get over here? Stay where you are. Yeah, he does that. He he says, you know how scorpion says get over here? Well, stay, stay over there. (laughs) Yeah, what a cut. All right. Bear, it's your turn. Or Craven, it's your turn. I will move two squares and I'll charge at the boss. What? Um, Already? Okay. That was a. <laughs> you fell into his trap card. 
I feel like we need to find out more about these people before I'll killing them. I think that's a mistake that we could be making. <laughs> Sorry. I, I know what I'm doing. Okay. I charge at him. I will use Bastion of Defense, my daily power, for non-lethal damage. Okay. Uh, I need the box. Are you going to do, are you attempting to do non-lethal damage, or are you attempting not to kill him? I'm attempting not to kill him. Okay. So, then so, you are doing lethal damage until the point where you feel that you may be killing him. Because if you, okay, here's the catch can I tell 22. That? You can, you can't tell that off the bat, but if you do lethal damage, it will not take hit points away from him. It will add to a non-lethal damage count. And it, when that expense is full hit points, he becomes unconscious. He becomes unconscious. Okay. Right. So, all But if someone's attacking him with lethal damage and you're attacking him with non-lethal damage, they don't stack on top of each other. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So if Sully does 20 non-lethal damage, you do... Tw- or if Sully does 20 lethal damage, you do 20 non-lethal damage. That doesn't mean 20 damage. Or 40 damage. It means 20 of each. Okay. okay. So 23 versus AC... Uh, you hit him. And this tech does, let's see, 4, 3, 7, 9, 14 damage. And each ally within five squares of me, which is... Just Baron. Just Baron. And me. Oh, Sally does too, actually. Okay, fine. I think he's Sally in too. Uh, gets one point of bonus to all defenses. Okay. Until For... the end of the encounter. Okay. As you... As you like go up and you charge him and you slice at him with the long sword, your um, you feel the like the bear head on top of like the the thing that you're wearing on your head, it like lurches itself forward and and attempts to smash him in the head. So oh, make another basic. Awesome. Attack. Okay. And it's gonna be basic melee. All right. So, so whatever your basic I melee. Might die eight. Is uh, it, are you using a long sword with two hands? Yes, versatile. So only, actually, only roll it as if it's one. Okay. Handed for this. So I did fifteen damage then. I okay. forgot. So fifteen damage, and this is twenty-eight to AC, so that hits. Yep. And this is ten additional damage. Okay. Non-lethal. Or this this ten additional is actually lethal. Okay. Because you're you're not able to control this this like so, bestial instinct. Okay. So what the heck am I wearing? Um, Possessed bear armor. You all notice that the horse is still like digging at the ground to try and pull itself up. And um, after you finish attacking him, the the wagon like creaks a little bit further into the sinkhole. Okay. Okay. And the horse is tied. The horse is still strapped to the wagon. All right. Okay. Uh, Sally, your turn. I, again, try and blow his head up. And I say, come back for more. Which one? Uh, the guy in front of me. Come back okay. for more. And I use eye bite on him again. Twenty-four versus Will. I can't even see what he's rolling, so I don't know if he's fucking lying his ass off. No, he's not. Okay. All right. For max damage. You do it again, and he doesn't have eyeballs. So I blow his head up. But it just, like, pulses out well, from I behind. Did, I did max damage, right. so his head, his head blows up. No. No. <laughs> um, it, like, pulses out from behind where behind his head is, and then he drops to the ground again. And as soon as he does, um, the leader, his leader, we can call him Brian. His name's Brian now. Hi, Brian. Brian. Brian, like, does the same thing. He tells him to rise! Rise! Stop falling! And the guy, God like, asshole. drops to the ground, his head smashes on the ground again, and, like, some Oop. group, like, drips out of his eye sockets, and then he, like, lurches himself back up. Can his uh, last name well, be when Bumbles? He falls, when he falls, I'm gonna teleport to the carriage, and I'm... Can I open the curtain as free action? You can do it as a minor action, and look inside. Because you haven't cursed anybody this round. Uh, yeah, look inside. Uh, okay, I'll do that. I'll look okay. inside. You open the curtain. You look inside. There are there is a chest inside of it, a closed chest. It's a square. It's not like a rounded top chest. It's a square top chest. It's relatively small, um, but it 
has like a rudimentary lock on it. There's also a, a crate in there that is has like some padding in it, but inside the crate there are small blue, extremely familiar gems. Da da da. Um, they are not glowing though. They are like dull. They're dull. I look towards, I look towards, Baron, and I say, "Hey, Dwarf, you're really strong, right? Pull this thing out quick!" And I use my move action to go inside. You. Tempt okay. Her. To go inside the carriage, you can attempt to rip open the tear or the the hole that she knocked into it. It's a covered wagon. So it's so you'd have to like rip tar- you'd like have to rip like the tarp open, open. Okay. which you're gonna have to roll strength check to rip the tarp open to climb inside. I've dagger. Okay, you can slice it open. That's not a move. A- that that'll be your move action though. Okay, so I'll use a move to rip it open, and then the next turn I guess I'll go. Okay, so you use your move action and you like slide the dagger up the side of it and you tear the tarp open. Um, and it's for your turn. Um, Let the could Brian's say- last name be that what? That I told Baron to go and pull the thing. Okay. As long as Baron heard you. I heard him, yeah. Okay. Um, can Brian's last name be Bumbles? Brian Bumbles? No. No. You had a Pinkerton. I feel like Bumbles is acceptable. Brian or Brian? Brian. Brian's fine. Bumbles. Brian Bumbles. <laughs> Brian Bumbles? Brian Bumbles. I like it. How about... Bless you. I don't no, know. This is, it's not like... a Simpsons character. <laughs> All right. He can have a boring last name like Smith, then. Brian Smith. You don't know his last name. Andy. His last name is Smith. That's so. fine. So. Yeah, the whitest... <laughs> the, the whitest, whitest, whitest thing that could ever be. Like, a Smith? Johnson's pretty close. Johnson's really fucking close. The two Asians we know <laughs> have yeah. the whitest last names. Johnson and Smith. Good job, man. Okay, so it's uh, her it's turn. It's Steph's turn. We're still waiting for her to go. Um, I feel kind of bad for the horse, but I feel like if I remove the horse... The thing's going to go in the hole. Fall in, yeah, the hole. So I am going to move, cl- like, maybe another square or two closer to this guy, and I'm going to attack him again. Try to attack him again. Okay, he has partial concealment because of the bushes, or because of the, the tree that's fell. Well, if I Between were to move, like, over there, though, would he? You have to move one further than that. Right there. So, like, right in front of where the other dead guy is. Just get Professor Black off the board until the... Until... Yeah. Damn it. Thirteen to hit. Uh, you hit. Cool. Alright, and then he still turned in the direction where Sally was, and you put an arrow right into the back... Uh, the base of his skull. Okay. Does, he there any, takes like, any head left. It doesn't matter. Seven he damage. Falls to the ground again. No, it's not your turn. It teleport. No. You whore. I'm not giving you any more teleports. You've already gotten two teleports off that guy. He should, he's one more present. He. <laughs> Brian does the same thing. He just keeps do- he keeps doing it. He does it again. Well, why did those he's getting two die really then? really angry and he yells. At him to stay up, and then the guy like, like falls. He falls backwards. The arrow snaps, and then he like picks himself back up to his feet. No, no more teleports off that guy. Do it again, and I'm gonna take your curse off him. All right. So now it's Baron. So wait, why did those two die, but these ones aren't? Don't know. He's willing them alive. Do you want to know the real reason? Because every time one of them dies, I'm allowed to (laughs) reach. That yeah, don't 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 tell us. Come on, fine. Don't tell us. I want to know. No, 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 don't tell her. No, Brian yeah. is a Green Lantern, and he's using the power of will to bring them back to life. Yeah, See, Green Lanterns can't do that. They can't resurrect the dead. Uh, um, black Lanterns can. Black Lanterns can. But they're not Green Lanterns, and there's only one Black Lantern, and that's the Black Hand. So okay. I stole the minor. So he's actually, Black right? Hand. Yes, he's Black Hand. Got it. He's wearing a black jumpsuit with a big gray fist in the middle of it, and. No. Is that a minor action? <coughs> can a minor action include moving backwards, or is that like another move action? That's another move action. Damn. Can I use another move action? No. I feel like Sully was able to use two move actions. No, he teleported and had a move, a move action. That's why he took his teleports away from him, so he can't keep bouncing all over the battlefield as things keep bringing brought back to life. Stop resonating. 
Okay, so Baron's turn. I mean, if you want, I'll take away all of his debuffs as soon as he dies. Please don't. Uh, Baron, your turn. Okay. Um, so, move here, here, and then here. Okay. Um, I use Shield Bash on this guy. Who is? Uh, Brian. Fumbles, Mr. Fumbles. Uh, 11 plus 6 versus Reflex, 17. Okay. You... Are you going for lethal? I'm going for non-lethal. Oh. Oh, okay. So what is it? Uh, 17. Okay, you hit. Okay. And I do... Um, just so see. you know, I just want to tell you this beforehand, but stabilizing the, the wagon is not a minor action. Is it not? It's not. Because you're going to attempt to pull the wagon back up. It's not a minor thing just, like, flicking a wrist or drawing a weapon. It's, like, an actual, like... Like you're, it's gonna be like an athletic or a athletics check. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'll just do it. Um, you're gonna still attack. Yeah, I'm still okay. gonna attack. Um, so nine. Okay. So I do that. I burn an action point, which is my last one, and I try to stabilize the wagon. Okay. You only have one action point. I know. From the beginning. Okay. All right. When you said it was your last one, I thought you meant to use another one, and this is your last one. Oh no. I'm the only one burn one. All right. So you're gonna roll an ath- athletics check to attempt to. Pull the wagon back up. Okay. So six plus what you're about to roll. Twenty. Twenty total. Okay. You able to stop the wagon from falling down, and you like pull it a little back up. It's not quite stabilized. Part of it is still in the, the like the well. Right. In the hole, but you're able to like pull it partially out. Okay. You take three psychic damage. Okay. Well, this guy's prone too. Okay. That's fine. Okay. You all hear... <clears throat> Get up, me. Scrambling... <laughs> yeah. Legs, pick me up. Uh, you, you hear scrambling sounds coming from inside these, like, scratching, scrambling sounds coming from inside the hole. From out of the hole... What the heck? Rises... Sandworm. Ooh. Oh, no, um... What's his name? Anteater from Final Fantasy. No, fuck Anteater. Dude, he's in every game. Okay, from out of the hole rises a giant ant-like creature. That is a fucking ant. I don't give a shit what anybody else says. Chris, it looks like a dog. Looks like a yeti hound. It looks like a dog. It doesn't look like an ant. A giant ant-like creature (laughs) with two prongs um, on its rear side. Anteater. So um, it's like an earwig? And it, yeah, like an earwig. Except it's a fucking ant, and it has an earwig, like, pincers on the back. And it, it like, crawls out of the, uh, the hole. And it heads towards... Mm. Sully is outside the wagon still. Yes. Actually, yeah, it heads towards Sully, because he's the closest person. So we all see Sally may die. <laughs> Sally may fucking die. Actually, you know what? I'm he's gonna head towards Bear. Criff. Oh. Like Sally's still up against the wagon, like slicing cutting the thing down. So it like walks past him and walks towards Griff. I feel when did uh also Okay, have so I can't make attack of opportunity since I'm stabilizing the wagon, right? Yes. Uh, you're still holding sure. the wagon. You have eight temp hit points, Sully, and you have eight temp hit points, by the way. I, I do? Guess. Eight? Eight. Does your thing... I don't think your thing Actually, stacks. Actually, it's higher than that. I don't think it's... Uh, it's charisma modifier plus five. So For not every attack? No, uh, Bastion of Defense. I bought oh. that. Okay. I thought I was done reading, and I wasn't. So you have nine temp hit points, you have nine temp hit points. Steph, you do not. What? Don't worry about it. Okay, was that before okay. or after I, I hit... Before you hit. Okay, so I have six. Okay. It goes to Kriv, and it attempts to grab Kriv with his mandibles. Giant ant creature. So it's trying to grapple. No, it's trying to grab. So um, yeah, I mean, it's, still, it's a grapple is, but it's called a grab. You can, you can attempt to escape it the way that grabs are escaped. But you are, if it, if it succeeds, you're immobilized. If someone pushes you outside the range of it, 
or if um, if the person that is attacked or the thing that is grappling you becomes immobilized himself. Then what happens? Then you are freed from the grab. Okay. What if it's pushed back? If it's pushed back yeah. out of his square, then yeah, it all like it pulls, it pulls okay. out of his grab. No, okay. it pulls out. Oh, okay. Seventeen versus AC. It's you have plus one. For what? For your thing. That's for you guys. Doesn't help me. I boost your scores, not mine. Every fucking time. Each ally within five squares of me gains plus one to defense. Are you gonna count that for me as well? No. Or is it just both in there? No. Okay. So I'm grabbed. Okay, you take 12 damage. Oh, lovely, okay. And he has grabbed you in your pincers. You are mobilized. Now it is the minion's turn. Excellent. Excellent. Death killed that guy, didn't she? Oh, he picked back up. Yeah, he keeps coming He back. walks towards, he makes the shift towards Sully, and this guy Take his heart walks off. here and attempts to attack Baron. Does he gain? Oh, no. It's not flanking Baron. Okay. All right, the one that it's attacking Sully... 23 versus <laughs> No, I, I plus the defense. You have one. He hits you in the... He cuts you in the back. Five damage. Okay. And the one that attacks Baron. 24 versus AC. That actually hits. And he cuts you in your back as well with his curved blade. I feel like dying so many times must... You take five damage too. Sorry. Okay. This, it's not an actual roll for these guys because they're minions. Minions do flat damage. So right. it's five every time. Okay. This and minion. Unless they're like buffed. Uh, and then the follower, he uh, picks himself up. Brian. As his move action. Um, Brian doesn't bubbles. he get a no. thing? Brian yeah, do I get an attack of Not himself? in 4 E. Really? Yes. Bullshit. Are you sure? Because that seems like it, it costs basically nothing to get back up. Cast a move action, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but big deal. Cast a move action. I mean, it's your entire move action. Yeah. Uh, um. So I'm flanked now. Awesome. Okay. I mean, even if it does cost an attack of opportunity, he cannot make it because he's immobilized. Oh, right. Okay. So that means I can't attack at all? You can attack, but you can't take attack of opportunity. And he is going to... He's going to use... He's going to... He's, he picks up his flail... And he starts swinging it wildly around his uh, around his head, and then he like swipes it down in front of him. Close burst, one, and he hits only one person in front of him, which is big chain. Flip it, just flip a coin. It's fine. Evens odds. Okay. Evens. Uh, of course. Okay. He hits Chan. Um. Uh. With a roll? Evens odds. I mean, does it not... Yeah, I'm gonna oh, okay, okay, okay. But he hit the attack comes down on chain. Right. For 23? 20 versus AC. Uh, minus hits. 2. For my mark. Okay. Still hits. 18 versus AC. Still hits. Okay. You take 7 damage. Okay. And you are not prone. So but I'm, I'm immobile. Fortunately, he knocks you out of the grasp of the... Thing. So I'm not immobilized. You're not immobilized anymore. Every one of these motherfuckers is gonna die. Screw taking. She's dragon rage. Oh yeah, I'm bloodied, so I get plus one to damage and attacks. All right. Uh. I'm about to heal myself. Crib, your turn. Okay. Let me use my new utility. Iron resurgence. I lose a healing surge. Ah! <laughs> the hell? I lose a healing I tried surge. But not I... to say anything, but the dungeon master just hurt me. <laughs> Yay, woman, or man-on-woman violence. Good. Uh, I burn a healing surge and use two. Two what? Two surges for one healing surge. Iron resurgence. Target loses a healing surge, can then spend one or two healing surges. Target also gains ten hit points equal to half uh, the surge value. So you use three healing surges to use two healing surges? No, I... Lose one healing surge, and I can either use one or two healing surges, and then gain temp hit points equal to half a surge value. So, so use two healing surges to gain one and a half healing surges? He is kind of correct. You lose a surge, and then you can use up to two as a minor action. Yes. So you still lose one, so I lose and three then total? you lose three total if you want to use two. Oh, uh, whatever. Just letting you know. Do I stop to roll, or do and I get max And you also gain temp hit points equal to half... 
half of your healing surge value. So four times hit points. So you get, if you're using two, you gain sixteen health plus four temp. That's fine. Okay. So I'll heal and for sixteen. And you lose 16. three surges. I'll regain sixteen health. And you so gain four temp. Right. And plus four temp. Okay. And that's the only minor action. Yeah, that's minor action. You still have to use a move action to stand up. Yeah, I'll use a move action to stand. I go for the aim. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That's not what I want to use. Oh, that works. I should kill the guy on me so I can teleport again. I think we should call him an ant. I'm right? going to blow an encounter power and use guarding attack on the ant. Combination of an ant. Okay. okay. And a what? Didn't you already use that? No, I used Bastion of Defense. Uh, of okay. And, and that was a daily. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, Sally, you had 10 hit points during that slice, so it didn't do as much damage. Yeah, yeah. More. and right. there. Okay. Yes. Uh, if this hits, you're getting plus four to AC until the end of my next turn. Okay. Critical miss. Yay! Deck time. Can I pick it? Can I pick it? No. He rolled. So you're not going to get plus four to AC. What's the fail? This is an encounter, right? This is an encounter. Okay. Does uh, there is no fail. Is there an effect on it? It's just hit. Is there okay. a miss? There's no miss. There's no miss. Good encounter. Good encounter. Yeah, I mean. Some encounters are really strong, but they don't have extra benefits. Yeah. So we're just gonna take My daily doesn't have miss. Hey, the card says, Melee, punt. Your weapon flies two dice six squares in a random direction. Can I roll oh, the dice six? Good. <laughs> Can I roll the dice six? Yes. Roll one dice six for... No, two d six. Six squares. Okay. okay. Uh, and now roll a one die four to see if it goes north, south, east, or west. Okay, north. Uh, one, two, three, four. North. <laughs> oh, good. It goes flying towards Sally. All right, the dime is now your weapon, and so you like go to swing at him, and you like the blood from so you prone. like slips down. No, I'm standing. No, he's sta- he's standing. Oh, okay. The blood. Fr- the Wait, blood I thought you were going to like, Slips to- no the. The move. minor was to Oh, right, move. Right. It's move. Never mind. All right, all right, the blood, like, from your hands, like, slips down, and it, like, makes you, like, lose grip on your weapon, and your weapon flies. No. Oh, come on. No, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. All right, and it flies, narrowly escaping the giant he crater. He almost the kicked it into the hole. <laughs> almost. Long sword go down the hole. It actually should have gone in the hole, but he's not going to make it go in the hole. Well, no, what did, what did it either hit the, the, the caravan or Kaido first? Or you? No, what, it wouldn't It depends, because if, if he was swinging up, like if he swings like this oh, with okay. it, it would have flew out of his hand and gone in that okay. upwards direction. So it like flies over everyone and like sticks straight up into the ground. Straight out of the park. I think it should be like that Home here. Run. Okay, that's fine. Good job, man. Okay. As long as it's six squares away from him. I still got like a... Uh... Uh, move it back one. Three more weapons on me. So Over. I'm fine. Where it was originally. Yes, yeah, I'll just draw my short sword and do less damage. <laughs> okay. Um, my turn. Yay, critical miss. My turn. Best one so my far. Because fuck me, turn. right? Sally, your turn. Um. Okay. I go in the caravan. You don't quite go in the caravan. Hey, Sally, want to go get my sword? Number one. If yes. you move out of that, you are threatened by two people. So you provoke two att- attacks opportunity. Worth it. Next. You'll get killed. Just letting you know. You're gonna get murdered. The second the second thing All is for a shiny stone. Climbing into the caravan Acrobatics. Is a Or athletics. Yeah, I think it's interchangeable. DC five acrobatics check. Carrying shit um, out. Right. Yeah, DC five. It should be ten, but Baron stabilized the wagon, so it's DC five. Okay. So, so you, have to, roll an, you have to roll an acrobatics check and beat over DC5, which should be not hard. Yeah, okay, okay, so go my sword. I'm going to use a minor to curse the ant. Okay. And then I will use my move to go inside. All right. You provoke two attacks of opportunity. I will eat them. Put that on the ant. Oh. No, it, he can actually curse more targets than one at a time. All right, so the Just guy who is slicing at your back... He attacks you first. 21 versus AC. You take 5 damage. Okay, next. And then the uh, ant, he tries to go around and grab you. Fuck. Doesn't have any other attacks except for grab and one that he does while he has someone grabbed. <laughs> Which he is attempts to grab you with his mandibles okay. as you're slipping out. Okay. Wait, isn't he immobilized if he's grabbed? Yes. And he can't go in? No. And it hits? 
28 versus AC. <laughs> so you're not going in. This is. We're going to put that back here. You take 11 damage. Okay. So um, and you are grabbed by okay. the ant. So I will oh. use a... So Here's the thing. If you teleport, you get removed from a right. grab. So since I attempted to move... Or since I didn't, since okay, so I attempted to move. I pro, I vote attacks opportunities. Do I still have my move action? No, you lose your move action still. Okay, you still have a standard. I will, because even if they, even if the attacks of opportunity both if succeeded, I kill him, you would be able to move normally. If I kill him and he die dies, do I get to teleport? No, you're on teleport to my guy. You should probably try and kill that. Yeah, you're on teleport to that guy. Yeah, try and kill the bug. Kind of called my bluff. You can you can blame him now. <laughs> Because you're probably hey, gonna die. I can tell you how you. I really no. no, no. I'll figure it out. He'll okay. figure it out. Let him figure it out. Or he'll die trying. Right. <laughs> He's gonna die trying. Because there's something he can do. I will do what I can to save you. But... I won't. I got enough issues as is. Can I see okay. your? Can I see your? Okay. I'm gonna use first? my quick curse rod to use a free action to curse this guy. Okay. <laughs> What's the weapon damage on a short sword? Real quick. One I day six? One day six. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so how many how curse many curses, how many teleports do I get from him? Two or three? What? You what? get one teleport from right. him. Right, but if he keeps coming back. Two. Okay. Um total, not for each time he comes back. So if I if I don't use the teleport if he dies and comes back, can I still do I still have that teleport? No. Okay. So two in a it's row. It's a it's a it's a immediate action. Okay. Um, do, 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 You can make it out of this. Kenny. Mm-hmm. Okay. If I was playing his character, I could totally make it out of this. Okay, Perfectly. so that that Aww. guy's cursed. So, I... Uh, it's not the way he's doing it, is it? He's got it, so far. I say... I say, so, you like being a zombie? Feel the power of a necromancer. And I curse him with my rod. That guy's not a zombie yet. He's fucking zombie. <laughs> okay. He's gonna be a zombie soon. And uh So for anybody who doesn't know, Sully's rod, the quick curse rod, the benefit the extra b- added benefit to it is a daily daily encounter, encounter encounter that he can curse somebody as a free action. I can curse anybody, not just the person I can see. Right. Not the normal extent of a curse, but as a free action rather than a minor action. Um Okay. I will say so, you like your eyes, and I use eye bite on him. Okay. Again? You like the eye bite? Uh, 19 plus... 5? Five. 5. 24. Okay. 24 to You hit him. His eyes explode in his Actually, head. 25 Skull. to will. And he drops to the floor. Okay. And then you get your teleport. And He's teleport dead. Inside. But, Bri- or Brian tells him... Calls him a fool and tells him to rise. And he stands right back up. Mm, actually, I'm going to move over here and I gain concealment since I moved three spaces. Okay. Because of Fey Walk. Yes. Okay. Shut um. Alright. And it's your turn. Cool. And that's what I was... He, that's exactly what he should have done. Um, I move back one square, move my hunter's quarry to the ant. Uh, okay. Technically, that's what's target. Yes. And attack. Beat in. Gotcha. Go, With go, go. With nimble strike. Mm-hmm. Wait. I'm going to do hindering shot. Okay. I need another D8 if anyone has one. There should be multiple. We bought a shit ton of extra dice. Alan bought a shit ton of extra dice. Yeah! 24 versus AC. You hit him. Woo! Did you roll a natural 20? Yeah. Oh, well, then you get a critical hit. Woo! Come on, Stephanie. Do it. That's a critical crit. hit. Confirm crit. Confirm the crit. Roll to confirm. Crit hit dance. Roll another d20. Roll another d20 to confirm the crit. How is that possible? Because if you. It's an automatic hit, but if you get another hit, it counts like, as a put my critical outside. hit. Outside. That's a lot of damage. It's not going to matter, though, because it's going to be advanced anyway. Woo! She insta killed it! She insta killed it! What the hell?! There goes your fights, Chris. That doesn't, I mean, that's not really it's a fight. double 20. Okay, so you fucking insta-kill. Insta-kill. Crit hit dance. I 
bad. She shoots an arrow, it blows the ant up, a nuclear bomb goes off in itself, and it just explodes out. You shoot, you shoot an arrow, and it like, it goes, it like, it goes a little low, and it goes underneath the ant, and then it hits a rock under the ant, and goes straight up right through his skull. And you see the point of the arrow stick, or right through, it's like, no, leave it on the board. Damn it. It goes right through the top of it, and you see the point of the arrow sticking out the top of the ant. The I ant, like, the bo- all of the ant's legs drop out from underneath of it, but then it, like, starts to convulse. And, he has, um, like, a seizure. Close burst one. First verse Chan. Eleven verse Reflex. Reflex? No. Kaido. Crit. So, yes. He... I want to beat the card. Wait, confirm? No, it's not an attack. It doesn't do damage. Okay. He, like, starts to convulse and, like, starts to, like, flail around on the ground. He first slides underneath Kriv and you jump up and it goes... He, like, slides underneath of you and then he slides... His, like, convulsion, like, slides again and he smacks Baron right in the legs and knocks his legs out from underneath him and you are not prone. Wait, am I? Oop. Hey, guys. Immediate saving throw to being not prone. Right. Hey, guys, who's the best archer ever... Oh, that's right. It's an anisoptic. 14. Like Do I get plus to anything? Kid, it's anything over 10 is a throw. Oh, okay. All right, good. Anything. So you, he, like, hits you in your legs, yeah. and you, like, stumble a little bit, but you still <laughs> so keep your so foot. Yeah. Are you saying that my dance moves you don't are not acceptable prone, for the but dance floor? <laughs> yes. You do not... You In order to continue to stabilize the wagon, you are going to have to make another athletics check. Very good. So, okay. I mean, normally, even if you were, like, next round, if you were still going to try and keep the wagon up, you would have to make an athletics check to pull it up, but it's going to be higher now because you're going to attempt to re-grip the wagon and pull it up. So instead of it being, like, an 8, it's going to be a 12 now. Okay. So um, is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. You can take him off the board now. Yeah! Yeah. Oh, and he also attempts to, or he also almost, not the other guy knocks his legs out from under them, the uh, follower. Wait. Critmas. <laughs> Tapping the card? No. No card. There's no card for this. Alright, so... Alright, so I, I actually... Can I, like, do a okay. little victory dance? Like. Oh, you like still my... have a move action and a minor. So hurry up and finish your thing up. Okay, so for my minor, I'm going to do a little victory dance. Like the woo woo That's a move action. Okay. okay. I think that's a move action. That's a move action. She's moving that's, around. That's, that's your move action. What? Are you serious? Yeah. Um... And then You're going to do a what? <laughs> no, I'm not doing it so you can record it. And then for my minor, I'm going to put my hunter's quarry on... The closest target. So I guess that guy. This guy or that guy? That guy. Uh, which one are you guys pointing at? I don't know. That guy. Yeah. This guy's like All right. half well, as closer. Well, then I'll closer. put my hunter's yeah. quarry on him as my minor. Okay. So, <laughs> bear in your turn. <laughs> okay. Um, I continue to stabilize in the wagon. Okay. Roll. DC 12? Uh, 15 plus 4. Uh, okay. Plus 6. 24. You grab the wagon, you pull it up a little bit more. It doesn't slide. You're basically just stopping it from sliding at this point. Sliding into the hole. You're like pulling it up a little bit, but you probably won't be able to... It, unless you unless you roll like a 20, you're not going to be able to fully pull it out of the hole. Right now you're stabilizing it and you're keeping it from falling further into the hole. Right. Okay, uh, you guys might want to hurry up with the letter you're doing. I need help pulling this up. And right. Sally being in the cart isn't helping. <laughs> right. You fat bitch. I weigh 145. Plus whatever fat you're carrying. Fat bitch. Which is All like right. 10 pounds. Scrambling continues from inside of the oh my God. Uh, thing. And another ant comes out substantially smaller than the last one. It's all right, guys. I got this. I'm an insta ant wig killer. I think you like bugs. Not when they're killing me. And he heads toward the... Professor Black. The uh, dead body on the ground. One of the dead followers. And starts to eat it. And he grabs it. Like, this ant is substantially smaller than the other. He walks over towards the other... The dead follower that's on the ground. And he grasps it with his mandibles. And then he starts to drag it back into the hole. He moves half speed. But put him one square left. Or to the left. Up and to the left. Okay, up here? No, further away. My left. Like there. Yeah. He starts to drag it towards the hole. And he's, like, dragging the, like, follower in his pincers. Guys, I think they're gonna take us down there and then eat us. Slash lay eggs inside of us. <gasps> what if this connects to the ant cave in our other game? 
Two Inception. Dungeons and Dragons Inception. The two followers. One attacks Kriv, the other shifts and attacks Baron. Brown is Kriv, white is Baron. Stephanie, Justin, that's the point of of the wall. That's the point of the wall. Respect the wall. Um, They are actually both... Critical misses. No. Critical hits. They're both the same, but they both probably hit. So, 13 for AC. No. No. Okay. What? Probably hit. They probably miss. Oh, okay. So they both swing at you and do not hit. Then, Brian, he tries to... Mr. Bumbles. He shifts back one. Um, and he attempts to, or he like puts his hand out again. At, Wait, he's moving out of my threatened square, shift. shifting. Oh, God, I shift and I get hit by the goddamn half orc. Okay, go ahead. You never shifted. Shifting yes, I did. Different. I shifted every time, and he kept orcs, swinging at me. Or orcs aren't affected by shifting. Orcs no, that's are, not true. Orcs have orcish rage. Orcish rage. Orcish rage. Yep. 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 Just make up things. Make up things when you're not DM. Okay. Um, and he casts. Or he, like, casts the same thing he did at Baron with, like, the, the purple waves coming out of his hand. Does it at you. Uh, Chris? Does he get psychic damage? 21 versus AC. Duh. Versus Will. Sorry. Versus Will. Still duh. <laughs> and you take nine psychic damage. Yay. And the same thing. Purple. Like, you're, you, like, the hue goes purple and then it goes out. And he tells you to stay where you are. Do I have any resistance? I turn to him and say, suck a dick. Huh? Suck my dick. Do I have any resistance? It is Chris. Okay, I'm going to shift. I don't know. Does your character sheet say you do? No. Then no. But I'm a... a Doesn't matter. Hmm. You shift one. As a miner, can I draw my weapon? I have a short sword. Yes. Uh, Yeah, miner action, draw or sheath a weapon. Shift one. To the guy, I will draw my short sword. Provokes an attack opportunity. I don't think it does. Minor does. Or no, what? He shifts. No, 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 no. no. Uh, throwing a weapon. Minor action does sword. not throw. Provoke oh, attack. Never mind. Okay, and I will use Wolfpack tactics. Okay. So I'll call out to Baron and say, "Hey, move over a bit." I'm can, stabilizing the wagon. Can, he's holding onto the wagon. I yeah, but can't he shift while he's holding onto the wagon? No. Okay. I'm. I, it is taking everything I have to just hold it in place. Right. He's holding. All right. Screw it. I'll just go for a base. The weight. Melee. The weight of the wagon is actually. I actually have this written down, but the weight of the wagon. Oh fuck! Actually, I do not have the weight written down. I mean, you, it can't be more than like two thousand pounds, and he can hold probably around like eighteen hundred pounds. Fine. No. His strength's not as big as mine. All right. Yeah. The max I can hold is a thousand pounds. I'm eight hundred. Yeah. Okay. So I'll just swing for a basic melee. Basic melee? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> so twenty-two versus AC. Two thousand pounds, by the way. Cool. Wait, eight hundred? He his no his no the top weight that he can lift that he can carry right. is eight hundred pounds, and that's like. Car- like right. wait, actually push. Is that push or carry? No, no, that right. is max. It's under my inventory. That, I assume it's his max capacity. load. Max load is eight hundred pounds. Yeah, so that's, what, that's the most that you can carry. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's is like it, I can carry. Is it pull like twice as much as that? Yes, something like that. But he's not pulling. He's stabilizing. He's holding in place. Okay. And since he's a dwarf, he actually has a plus two versus. Uh, wait, plus two versus slide. No, I can't be. I, I, I'm slid one less square. Right. So he's, like, resistant to being slid and stuff because they, they have stout movement at lower center of gravity, so he can, like, he can hold onto the wagon and keep it from falling further into the hole. Okay, so 22 versus AC. You hit. And it lethal or non-lethal? Non-lethal. Okay. For eight damage. Okay. Sally, your turn. Excellent. I go up to the box of jewels and pick them up. It is a crate filled with them. The gems, not jewels, the gems. Oh, uh, okay. Well, instead of that, I will look around and see if there's anything else. There, there's a chest. There's a chest. And then there's a crate of those. There's, there's like a crate of those things, yeah. Um, is there anything else? Is that pretty much it? That's pretty much it. There's like a few, like, there's like a, like a two bed, like a few bed rolls in there and stuff and like some like other minor supplies, some trial rations, but that's it. Okay. Um, does, is the crate closed? Can I open it? 
the crate that has the things in them. Yeah. It is not closed. Okay. I will open it, and how are they arranged? Are they in rows? Are they in containers? No, they're just, like, piled in there. The crate has some, like, some padding in it, like, some, like, grass and stuff, like, straw, like, put in so it does, they don't, like, jingle around a lot, but they're just kind of, like, thrown throughout it. Okay. How Can I guess how many there are in there? I don't know, probably like three dozen. Okay. Um, I spend my entire turn looking for the brightest ones and putting them in my bag. Okay. You spend your entire turn digging through it, and they are all dull. None of them are bright. They're all dull. Um, that is the end of your turn. Okay. <laughs> and it's not your turn. Okay. Um, so where's the horse? Like, up here? Uh, he's closer to the, the wagon. Is the horse still struggling? So he's like, yeah, part of him's like underneath the wagon, the rest of him is in front of the wagon. So you see where that brown thing, the two sticks coming out from mm-hmm. the wagon? Basically there. So he's like basically on the horse. The he's like right in front of the horse. Is the horse still struggling? Mm-hmm. It's still struggling to like kick itself up. I mean, the wagon moved back a tiny bit because he, because it's falling, it was falling into the sinkhole. Okay. But yeah, still struggling. Um, how many moves total can I make? Uh, I don't know. What's your thing say? Speed. Six. Six. So, one, two, three... Provokes attack of opportunity. Four? Yep. So many attacks of opportunity. Oh, actually, no, that guy's... Mm, well, that guy's this guy's dead. dead. That's an ant carrying the guy, and so the guy. he's... So, yeah, you're he's, fine, actually. Okay. Um, I'm gonna help... But, um, moving into that guy, through that guy's square... Right. Provokes an attack of opportunity. You provoke square? one attack no, no, of opportunity. this guy. That guy's still alive. I'm not moving into his square, I'm moving next to him. I'm moving right. through his this, this is where you can move safely. That's moving through his squares. Correct. So if I want to help Kyoto stabilize, that wasn't a good choice. I mean, if you want to help Kyoto stabilize, that is a good that is a good choice. But you still provoke one attack of opportunity. Right. So he's gonna cut at you. But that's the best place you can go to help Kyoto stabilize. As opposed to going near the horse, I don't think I can move that far though. No, that'll even provoke a d- attack of opportunity. So I should move around him. But yeah. So yeah. So I mean, it's up to you what you're gonna do. Yeah, I'm going to help stabilize, so I'll just, uh... Provoke? Yeah, if it happens, it happens. It's fine. It does happen. Okay. He slices at you as you, He, like, hits stars you, at you as you come up, and he, like, backhand slices at you. He hears you come up. He doesn't have eyeballs anymore. <laughs> you take five damage from the guy. Really he slices your, slices your arm. And I'm like, dude, that wasn't cool. All right, now what do I have to do to help stabilize? Athletics. No, hey, athletics. What about... Okay. That makes sense. <laughs> 19. Alright, fine. Yeah, you help him, and the two of you are able to pull it out a little. So instead of just stopping it from falling in, you pull it, you you begin to pull it out. Okay, but it's still not safely out. It's still not safely out. I see. And since there's a guy still standing between you, uh, attacking the two of you, it would be really hard for you to safely pull it out. Right. Okay. So that guy needs to either go away or something needs to happen. Okay. Uh, I'm busy. Baron, your turn. She is holding onto the wagon now. Right. Um, okay. Okay. If the wagon goes in the hole, they're all dead, isn't it? People holding onto it? Yeah. If they keep holding onto it. If they can't stop it from going in, which they're doing a decent job of stopping it from going in. Mm-hmm. Okay, so if I let go, does it slide back? If you... You don't know. She's holding on to it. Okay. But you don't know if you should be... if You don't know if you're able to let go of it or if... Like, you don't know if she has enough grip on it or not. She may. She, she definitely may have enough grip okay. on it to keep it from sliding in. Yeah. But, like, you can't be sure. You can't be sure. Okay. So it's up um, to you whether you want to take the chance. I continue stabilizing. I yell at Sully, get the fuck out of the wagon. All right. Roll another athletics check to attempt to pull it out. Uh, 20. Alright, yeah, you guys pull it out a little bit further. Okay. You're not going to provoke attacks of opportunity yet. If that guy doesn't die by the next round of you pulling it out, it's going to be a square. And you're going to provoke. Both of you are going to provoke. Right. This guy starts to walk towards the hole and scramble back down it. And another one comes up. And he starts to come out of it. And... He heads over here and burns a standard to move over to here. And he goes towards the other dead body. Okay. Do ants work non-stop until they die? Pretty much, yeah. You were asking about these particular giant ants. The one guy attacks Baron 
The other guy attacks. He yeah, he moves and attacks the ant. I mean, in real ant colonies, there are worker ants, and there are different like classes. Uh, of he ants. misses you. Do the worker ants work until they die? Like twenty four hours straight. Mm, no. Two minions fighting each other. <coughs> and okay, he misses the ant. He goes to attack the ant, and he can't get through his shell. Uh, and the oh, you take three damage from what? It's three psychic damage. When you moved, when you st- after you attacked that guy, you take three damage, three psychic damage. For okay, hitting him? I don't know. From hitting the boss? Is that what he got it from? No, it's saying is that what you got it from? I guess I hit him and then I take three psychic damage. Apparently. Okay. He, he makes us go loco. He s- tries to smash you with his flail. Okay. Seventeen versus AC. It's. Nine damage. Okay. He brings his flower down on top of your shoulder and like smashes it down. You take nine damage, and then he shifts back one. Is the only thing I can see the side. back into the to yeah. Is the only thing I can see from here out the way I came in? Is there like is the front part open where like a driver? The back sit? part is open. The front part is has like a curtain down over it where the driver sits. The back part is open, and all you see from that is like this into the sinkhole and the ants like coming out every once in a while. Craig, your turn. This guy, when he shifts, when he like, when he like moves backward, you see him like hold down for a second, like catch his breath. I'm gonna use dragon breath. On who? Close person. Okay, three. you can't do that non-lethally. Yeah, I don't care. Okay. He pissed me off. All right. What? Nothing. Stop fingering the air. You want to talk? Talk to each other. Jesus I can't. Christ. My turn. Twenty-three versus AC. Hits. Or excuse me, prepares reflex. Hits. Eleven damage. Okay, he is bloodied. Andy. Yes. He's bloodied lethally. You can't be bloodied from non lethal. Right. Fine. And I shift one square. Okay. Isn't the horse like right there? No, the horse right here. Okay. Right. Uh, sell your turn. Do I take three psychics? Okay. My, okay, I'd like to use a miner to pick up some gems, put in my bag. Okay. Um, a. Are the gems right here? Yeah. Or is it, sure. is it like chest here? Like crate here? Yeah, sure. Okay. So pick up some gems with a miner. Okay. Um, standard to slash open the curtain here. You can pull it open. Oh, never mind. Okay. Um, so okay. standard to pull it open. Um, miner to, or burn a action to miner to curse this guy. He's not currently your closest target. That's your closest target. Interesting. And it is already cursed. Right. So. Might as well just hit it. Um, you still have a move action. I know. How heavy is that chest? The chest? Yeah. You haven't tried to pick it up. How heavy do I think it looks? Probably about 30 pounds. Oh. I I use my move to pick it up. Okay. And I guess that's it, right? Sure. Good. Uh, Amazon for your turn. All right. Um, you can kill the guy next to you, or you can attempt to stabilize the wagon, or pull the wagon up a little bit. Yeah, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to stay ha- holding on to the wagon. I'm going to move my hunter's quarry onto the guy closest to me, and I'm going to command Professor Black to actually predator strike him. Mm-hmm. All right, so you move action to... Okay, so you're going to... Your focus is going to take off the wagon. It's going to be harder for you to... You can still hold on to the wagon, but... You, it's you're not going to be able to pull it up this turn. Okay. You're just going to be able to. But I, I can still turn. hold on to it. Like I'm not going to. But be you can still hold on to it, it right? But your I... focus is taking off it. But what I'm saying is, yeah, you're you're fine. You're really fine. But yeah, you use move action to move Professor Black and then Hunter's Claw. So Qu- I need a D6 and a D8. No, um, I'm predator striking, so I don't actually. Oh, you it. don't get the quarry. I don't, actually, I didn't even have to move the quarry, so. Okay. Um. So that is 24. It hits. It hits. Um, five damage. All right. Professor Black claws his face and, like, takes a chip out of his, like, just comes down and, like, claws at him and the guy drops down to the ground. Yeah, Professor Black. And he does not get back up. And teleport. Yeah, Professor Black. No. No more teleports. No more teleports. He's permanent. No more teleports on that guy. That's a different guy. Different guy. You can get teleports off this guy still. Not that guy. Put the penny, a penny where he was. Um, all right. That is the end of your turn. Baron, your turn. Okay. Um, so I continue to pull it up. 
Uh, ten. Okay, you can you can still hold on to it. You do not pull it up. You feel her, like her pulling it, like the what you felt, the give that you felt when she was like helping you pull it. It let out a little bit. It's staying where it is, but it's harder for you to pull it back up. Okay. Um, ants. This ant goes into the hole, disappears. This one grabs this guy and starts to move and provokes attack of opportunity. And another ant comes out of the hole and moves towards step and attacks her. <gasps> the ant attacking So first me? for the minion to attack the ant, he hits him. He does not hit him, actually. Does he does not hit him. him. Mm-hmm. He misses. And then the other ant to attack, he attacks Stephanie. Is it a grab again? No, this is not a grab. Is, he just tries to like bite you with your pincers. With his pincers. 15 versus AC. No. Okay, he misses. Yeah. He has to bite you and like he like gets his his pincers around your leg, but the armor So that's the studs attack- from your armor like stop it. So he's an attack of opportunity for me, right? What? No. no. Oh, never mind. Then. He hasn't moved through your threatened squares. Uh, minion, that minion that took the attack, attack of opportunity, he actually moves towards Baron and attacks Baron. Baron. And misses. And then that guy attacks you. Griff. He shifts back. He shifts over. Yeah, back and over. And he attacks you with the pulsy handy thing. The purple ray. And he misses. It Can doesn't. Ring. You don't take it. He like it like comes. It like hits you, but you don't. It doesn't like affect you. Okay. Crave your turn. I will shift one, and I'll make basic melee down right there. Okay. Uh, sixteen versus AC. Okay. You smash. You like. You're hitting him. You've been hitting him this whole time with the blunt of your weapon, like the side of your weapon. And this last time, you smash him against the face with it, and he just like. Fumbles down. And he's unconscious? Yeah, he drops unconscious. Good. Uh, was that shift a minor, or does that count as my move action? Move action. Shift is move action. He'd can I action. shift my speed, or can I... Oh, no, I, I You can't, shift I, one. I can't shift and then kill a guy and then shift again. Okay. Even if you, ha- if you had another move action, you could, but you don't have another move action. Fair enough. You have a minor left. Um, as a minor, can I inspect him? You can... Yes, you can inspect him. Can I inspect him to see what he has on him? Not thoroughly. You okay. can, like, pat him down and, like, look at him. All right, I'll pat him down. Okay, you start to pat him down, and as you're, like, looking around his cloak, you move his cloak, uh, you move his, like, robes, and on, the pa- on like, a patch that was covered by the hood of his robes, you or on the, the, like, part of his chest that was covered by the hood of his robes, you move it over, and he has a patch on his uh, robes, that is a, it's a black symbol of a diamond. It looks like a diamond shape, and it has two, like, dashes inside the diamond, like, pointing down that look like eyes. Okay. Where did you see that? It's on this dude. Hmm. I think that's what was on the map, wasn't it? Sally, your turn. We don't know that just yet, actually. Huh. Interesting. Looks like a metapod. Sally, your turn. <laughs> Seriously, does. Uh, with the chest in hand, I go out of the front of the caravan. Do okay, it. you can't go out of the front. There's a horse there. You can drop down to the side. So move over to the side. And then, yeah, you can move. And then I walk out and I say, oh, hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> okay, and stop your turn. There's still people around you fighting you. Um, that ant that just attacked me. Predator striking Professor Black. Go! Okay. I feel like it'd be a bad idea for me. Wait, did you let go of the... No, he no, hasn't so, let go. So. He's still holding onto it. Um, 15 to attack. 15 versus AC? Yeah. You hit. Okay, and it's um 5 damage. Okay. Uh, Professor Black come, goes down and he like grabs onto the... He like, his his talons pierce the ant's head and he like rips out and he pulls the, the ant's head off. Ooh. Good job, Professor Black. You're the best. Does he eat it? No. Very your turn. Okay. Uh, I continue to fucking pull up the wagon. Seriously? Ten. Okay, yeah, you're fine. Okay. You're holding onto the wagon. It's not falling any further into right. the sinkhole. Cool. Bear your turn. Oh, okay. I should kill Or no, uh, Minion's turn. Um, the ant that's holding the guy goes into the sinkhole, goes away. <laughs> A new ant comes out of the sinkhole. Attacks out. 
So you should kill that guy. Yeah, you should kill that guy. Uh, the guy. new hand that comes out of the so sinkhole attacks it. Sully. 15 versus AC. Oh no, 11 versus AC. No. Miss. Uh, okay. The guy next to Baron attacks Baron. Miss. Alright. Uh, curve your turn. As a minor, I'll tell Sully. Make sure this guy's free action. Or free, as a free action, I'll tell Sully. Let's keep this guy alive and interrogate him later. Okay. Alright. As a move, I will move over here. And okay. basic melee against that melee. Okay. 16 for CC. You hit him. You take his head, you like lop him right across the top of his head, and like the, it like cuts him straight across his face, or like di- diagonally across his face, and it like slides off and he drops. Um, okay, as a minor, can I grab onto uh, Baron okay. and give him assist? As an immediate? You can grab on, you cannot. Okay. As an immediate, I teleport over here. Okay. Good job, Sully. Alright, uh, Sully, your turn. Um. I will search this guy for a key or a magical item. Okay. So wait, is he dead or just... Roll a this? perception to search him. Can you roll an arcana for a magical item? He's searching. He's not... If he wants to do that, he would need... Are you going to detect magic? 16, no. 19. All right, you start searching him. He has a flail, which is like a chain attached to Don't a rock. About it. And he has robes on, and that's it. Where's the key? Where's the key? It's okay, Alan. Why is there a key? That's, is that the end of your turn? Are his robes awesome? His robes are white robes, oh, with what? some cut marks in them. Mm-hmm. And the frosty parts. Um, I will curse and kill the ant. Curse okay. and attack. Then do the thing. What ability are you using? Yeah, any ability. Pick an ability! Alright, you kill him. He's dead. Wow! Wait, wait you just rush you blow him up. Any, any, any ability. You look at him, flip him off, and he blows up. Yes, because he's uh, the middle finger of magic. Time. All right, I'm gonna try and pull up the wagon again. Okay. Oh. Critical. So Miss. yeah. She breaks her leg. Nope. Your hands slip off of the wagon. Okay, good. Sorry, Baron. I okay. tried. You go to like pull it up, and the part that you're holding onto is like a part of the canvas that Sally cut, and it like rips the canvas. Uh, side of, piece of the canvas off the wagon. Baron, your turn. Okay, I can say advice. Good job. Yeah. You make up for the fact that you were the only person holding on to it and you stabilized the wagon. I tried. I'm sorry. I'm like, uh. So I can let go of it now, right? Why would you let go of it? I can I, Am Wait. I able to let go of it no, safely? You, yeah. You guys are about to pull no, it. she's not holding on to it anymore. Oh, good. Okay. It's still a right. hole. Right. It slipped out of my hands. Do you already. I mean, I can tell you what it takes to pull the wagon out. No, no, no. it's fine. This guy, uh, another ant comes out of the thing. He's up there. Four, okay. And he moves here and attempts to, and then he picks up the, the body. Okay. And then he, like, slowly shifts his way back. Burns a standard and moves back. And he starts dragging the other dead body. Crave your turn. I will mm-hmm. shift one over and attempt to grab onto the wagon and okay. stabilize it. Or try and pull and it. Pull. A lot. 25. All right. You help Baron and you guys pull it out a little bit. Uh, everybody shift over one. <gasps> It'd probably be one. No. Uh, doc, uh, Professor Black stays there. Wait, he's just like flying. So one more one more full round of pulling and the, the wagon stabilize. Okay. Is the horse uh, Sally, your turn. Is half the horse crushed, by the way? No, he's, he's the... moving with you. He's oh, helping. Perfect. He's moving with you. Um, I didn't know if it was like crushed on the way. He's he is cons- he's anxious about new people, but he's moving with you to pull the wagon out. Should I stay here or what? Oh, uh, I think we got this. I think you should help us pull. It might go faster. Do what you want. Just come over here and pull once. Do what I want? Yeah. No. No. No, don't listen to him. Sally. Help us pull. <laughs> do what I want? <laughs> Kills the guy. <laughs> Sally, pull, do what pull, you want pull, besides pull, killing pull, the guy. Pull, 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 um, pull, 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 pull. I go over here and I help them pull. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, man. You're the best. Woman, I mean. Good job. You help him pull and you pull a little bit further. Uh, and it's after your turn. I'm going to pull as well. Try and grab back onto it and pull it. 
Woo! Crit! Again! Again! Just fucking three 20s in one game. For her! There you go. Good job. For one person, three 20s for one person in one game. Really fucking cool. Do you a victory dance again? Alright, you pull it out a little bit further. You guys pull it, you like pull it out the edge. It's still on the edge of the sinkhole, but it's not in danger anymore, falling back, unless it gets. Unless it, like, slides back a little bit. Okay, so the horse can pull the rest, right? The horse, yeah. Okay. The horse is not his turn yet, but the horse can pull the rest when it when he gets to his Bear, turn. Here. As long as it doesn't fur, fur, fall further back in. Okay. Bear. The horse still is, doesn't, like, he's still nervous of all of you. Um, I go to do a heel check on the guy. Okay. Just let go of the wagon, okay. Right. Like, it's fine. It, it's safe now. Yeah, sure, okay. Okay. Um, Until I push it back in the fucking hole. <laughs> Alright, uh, this is going to be the end of combat, technically, because I just thought of the next two rounds and they don't matter anyway. Okay, good. So, you want to end now? Or do you want to end... Yeah, this is a good or story. do you want to finish? Let well, me finish heel check on the guy and then we can do whatever. Alright. You can stabilize him. Okay, so heel check, or the combat is technically over. Okay. Woohoo! Baron goes and checks the dead guy. Or the unconscious guy. Eleven. Um. Oh, you were trained in heal. Right. You. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, he's still breathing. Okay. He's still alive. He's unconscious. He has bruises all over his face, but he is unconscious. His like eyes puffed out and his right. lips bleeding, but he's unconscious. Okay. Um, as you guys are all standing there, another, another, the the one ant pulls the dead body or the dead body back into the hole with him, and another ant comes out and does the same thing. He comes out, he grabs the dead body, and he pulls it back into the hole. And unless you guys stop them, they just do that. No, fuck the bodies. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna take okay. a picture. Where so that's the end. Off. And then like, you don't care. You don't want to burn them. God damn. Uh-huh. One guy doesn't have a head. He's got like twenty percent. Like of the for head. the for the remainder of time you're here, no right. more ants come out of the hole. You have sure. a few seconds or a few minutes to like recuperate. This is the end of this fucking episode. That took forever. This awesome episode. Right. This, this is some awesome, combat. awesome stuff. You did. That. Um. Are you jokes? I Again, slapped are the you jokes? fuck out of this guy. Alright, that's the end of episode 13? 13. 13. 13. Uh, we'll see you guys next week. Subscribe Bye. to our show on iTunes. Yeah. Wait, yeah. This, this should be 14. Thank you for listening to an episode of Drunkards and Dragons. If you've enjoyed the show, please subscribe to us on iTunes and like our Facebook page at facebook.com slash drunk dnd